These lions stand guard over a Holly Springs landmark that people visit from around the globe. It's called Graceland 2. That's two as in T-O-O. -O, named after the Memphis Graceland where Elvis Presley lived and died. This Graceland is home to Paul McLeod, who builds himself as the world's ultimate Elvis fan. Yeah, you think you're an Elvis fan. You need to go to this town. It's the biggest hidden secret in the United States. <laughs> Every one of these houses, even behind your head, right down where you're standing, all connect with Elvis. Shocker. Hmm. This took an old lady out behind your head. There's her car and there's his car. All right. That, how that's connected with Elvis right outside the window right there that you're looking at. The nurse that took care of him the day he died is right behind the gold catalog. The head nurse for the Elvis Presley family center is behind the barn. The lady playing King Creole is over here. Johnny Freese has got four sons. He's the biggest lawyer in the state of Mississippi. He used to work out with real Bruce Lee, Elvis and Black Belt, and him karate. Charlie Feathers, a world I forgot to remember before to get on a song label. My friend just buried him a while back, and I was his twin brother. It's remarkable. Yep. Every age of the whole town is connected with Elvis. Even the Cuba police will bring the 50 more deputies here in the morning. <clears throat> Race and find out about it, and we're putting the jungle room behind the house, and it should be pretty sharp. The guy's got all the blocks laid out there right now. Then we're trying to put in columns out there, 25 foot tall. And I'll put eagles on top of them. And gold, <clears throat> what the eagles got to do with Elvis? To me, it represents he flew higher than an eagle throughout his career. Yeah. Nice as you guys are, I hope you come back here and be a member. That'd be great. You know anybody's got any of these little whiskey decanters? We got them all, four of each one in sets, never been opened. One kid just broke one, and he asked me to check the numbers on it. And I said, it's nothing for you to start crying about stuff like that. But you could have got a nice used car for 10,000 bucks. There you go. <clears throat> Thank you. Okay, <clears throat> Guru jumped out of line when I went under the bridge and followed me to Canada. It's got a flag, there's a flag for it right behind your head over there. On the OMS flag. It's got a license plate. If I get some aisle over there, look at Guru jumps out of her seat, rips all of her scarf, done perfume on it. I was tied it on the neck of the guitar, smell it, cut his finger. They're selling us a film for $10,000 cash for some of it. They're charging 50 bucks a second to look at it. Yeah, imagine that. <clears throat> Oh yeah, who's these? Are this these my, policemen? Now this is my son here. Is the <coughs> here in Presley. My dad never met him in the Marine Corps. I stuck him between his namesake up here for him. Yeah. So that was your How dad and someone son? in the Marines? Yeah, him and his brother. Yeah. How old is your son? 28 years old. Six foot four. He has one of the looks like Elvis. These are TVs that we run 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. And last Man. night there was 118 things set on Elvis within 24 hours. The most we ever got in one day was 189 things said. And Royce and asked, What's in the trunks? And I told him 31,000 videos on Elvis, four and a half hours a piece. Man. Any show you can name. You got more than Graceland. We can tell you about a year, the month, the week, the day, the time, the station, black and white, color, closed caps. And if it's been repeated on Elvis for Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck, Fine Saucers, to President of the United States, if it ain't pertaining to Elvis, we don't want it on the property. Here they lied to me when I collected 100,000 of those. They oh, stopped by from me and they found oh out those penny wrappers. That's worth a fortune. $5,000 a piece. Here's some of the pictures that I was telling this lady here about that we just taken in the last 8 to 11 weeks later of your friends from all the world in garbage cans. That's empty film. You want to do any others up here? It don't matter. Whatever you want me to do. Well, whatever I'm going to make you happy. That's what we're trying to do. I'm fucking falling in love. <laughs> there you go. All right. Say sex and big money. Sex and big money. <laughs> Everybody's doing all those pose, okay? Okay. Just do like this.
Oh, you want to get the jacket on and the guitar, hat, microphone, badges, and you want to take a picture with the jacket on? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you can do that pose right there, Michelle. What pose is that? <laughs> you can stand next to Elvis and do that pose. Mouse. Yeah, yeah, you should stand next to it and do that pose. Okay. 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 Don't block him. Okay. Just a little bit, right there. That's good. Okay. I gotta take two two pictures now. All right. <laughs> okay. There's one. You know, my grandmother learned English from Elvis songs. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah. And also, I love Lucy. No, April again. <laughs> yeah, funny. Yeah, the second one. You ate five of your pictures the last time you're here. No. They were here. Oh. How long ago were you? A couple weeks ago. Yeah. Maybe, maybe the, in the next room. <clears throat> well, I walk through the door. Hubby, be hubby, for life. You don't make me so. If you don't treat me right. Don't you ever kiss me once. Kiss me twice. A while back, Elvis went, and everybody knows, he went in the Army 58, 59, and 1960. He got out as a sergeant. You got to imagine thousands of Elvis fans heading up this grave. This lady had a death in her family when I was got out of service and turned around from Frankfurt. So Grayson found out about it from what I was told. Told her, you go up, put your flowers on Elvis' grave, and then you, we got to get you back to Frankfurt so you can bury your loved one. <clears throat> you got a day and a half left, so we want to put you in a private car, send you down to Tupelo, Mississippi with a list, and we want you to see every site connect with Elvis you can see, and when you think you've seen it all, you have it. Stop the police telling me you want to go to race too, and me pulling all this here in Preston Cloud, you're going to find out what dedicated about. There's people in Switzerland, Sweden, Paris, France, Hawaii, and the cops, state troopers, remember, city police, chief police, and the judges and lawyers, they're helping us out with the buses. <clears throat> I'm standing here by the drapes here, and I heard this lady say behind the curtains, I ain't never seen such a dying identification to preserve the history of Elvis Presley for going on 45 years with this man and his son been doing. If we ever go to Elvis grave again, I'll never forget this as long as I'm alive. To me, it represents when Elvis died, his spirit come to this house with this man and his son to carry on his legacy. <clears throat> when Elvis did that song for Priscilla Presley, Are You Lonesome Night? He did like the song, If I Can Dream, that about Martin Luther King shut off all the lights in it. And you sing about Priscilla. So I thought I'd have some fun. And I snuck up on the drapes and whispered to this lady, not knowing what she's going to do. And I said this. I says, <clears throat> Honey, you lied when you said you loved me. None I had no cause to doubt you. I'd rather go on to hearing your lies than to go living without you. She peed all over herself. <laughs> I know the feeling. I know the feeling. Yeah, I know the feeling. Come over here and look at this. Here's the first flower from Elvis' grave up here. Right there they are. There's a mausoleum I told you where I got locked in at up there. Two minutes after Elvis died, how you like that? There was electricity shooting out of his light fixture, five foot tall, gold figures flying around his jungle room, white lights over his jumpsuit, and only those pictures come out that way. My shadow went right in the door and they promised him dead, like part of me and my son had died with him. See it up there? I can right see Right there behind that. the snake. Oh, I can see, <laughs> see it? Yeah. My yeah. shadow went in the door like me and my son had died with him, or part of us anyway. So I was did a song for live Blue Christmas, and anyway, he couldn't pronounce the word blue from what I was told from Gordon Stork and the Jordan Ayers. He kept saying, like Casper and Friendly Ghost on Halloween night, boo, scaring people. So they made him do it a hundred times. Here's my burial suit that I'm going to be buried in. Someday uh -huh. over, over Tombstone, we'd hear lots of world's all up in the when I was fan. The trick is not to die for 10,000 years and do what the magician Houdini couldn't do, come back on Halloween night and haunt Mike's wife. <laughs> And, and my love ex, and I, 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 no, I love it. Give me a good idea, yeah, honey. I love, I love my ex wife, believe it or not. She looks like her. Oh. She's pretty. I really, yep, really, really don't want to get rid of this, but something gave me chills and inspired me to present you with this. It came from Sun Studio. They was taking it down. And I've got chills right now as I'm talking to you, but I feel that this is the place it needs to be. 
And that's directly off the wall. And that is sun directly studio. off the wall, <laughs> out of sun, off of Sun Studio. And I, I can't talk. I can't. I can't <clears throat> either. I'm about to cry. But this is where I feel it needs to be. Look at this. And uh, I'm going to autograph it for you. And I want my vice president to autograph it and her husband. You see that? And we're giving you that. And you see my <laughs> And the only reason they took it down is because of the bubbles. See my eyes, don't you? There's a new one, identical to it, back in the spice. And this is the one that was taken down. At Sun Studio. Glass, it made this the was from Sun Studio. As soon as we and got in Memphis, we went straight to Sun Studio, and they were taking it down. I mean, and, it feels like I'm led to said, places. You want it then, ma'am, so we, you can have it. And she got Roy Orbison's picture. Yeah. We got that out in the van. Yeah, he's wonderful. He's great. <laughs> We're passing yeah. it down to the next generation, next yeah. generation, and next. It's going to yeah. oh, yeah. be forever. It's wonderful. Different pictures I see of him in movies and stuff. Like the other day was at the, the presidential, the fan club, and members uh, dinner. And when they showed him about uh, helping raise money for the, for the Arizona, yeah. the Arizona Memorial. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They stole the. I don't know if I'll be able to get through this or not. Yeah, Let me sit sorry. down because I okay, might, I'm go. just weak in my <clears throat> knees. Well, so you know that I'm sincere for me and my family what we're doing. And I told this uh, pretty lady filming this thing here right here. And I'll tell you, that's got the truth or I'll die in front of you. <clears throat> CNN stopped me and my son going up that was grave. And he says, look, Paul, we know you gave up a million dollars in cash and your wife that you love and everything else and your family for that. And we know your son's a ringer for us. He's standing beside you. We want to know is why you gave up all that million dollars and everything the bankers in your town would love to own. And I says, I didn't do this for a need of greed. I did it because I think I was the greatest humanitarian singer that's ever born on this planet, ranked behind Jesus Christ. And I says, <clears throat> didn't you go to college to be an interviewer? He says, yes. I said, you like what you do? He says, yeah, I love it. I said, your friend back here phoned the story tonight. Do you like what you do? And he says, I sure do, and I get paid for these stories, and I'm also an Alice fan. And I looked over the camera, and I said, I got a sister of mine, looks like Priscilla Price, I got a sister of mine who gave up a kidney back in Michigan to keep somebody lying. So life is a very precious thing on this planet. Would you agree? And he said, yes, I would. And I says, well, since life is a very precious thing on this planet, I looked over the camera and I said, Des, I can't tell you how to be born and how to live and how to die. Follow your heart and mind, do what makes you happy, because we're all going to die in chicken and herp, and we'll tell anybody, right? He said, yes, that's right. And I said, well, if you have me run your cameras with me and my son did not put Rose on his grave, I'm prepared here tonight to give up the, <coughs> the ultimate gift. What do you mean by that? <clears throat> I said, I'd give up my own life if I could bring else back. You'd really do that? No brag, just pure fact. I'm lucky enough to be loved by a few. This guy here is loved by millions. Yeah, they thought it all in two years after he died. How the hell is it going to end when there's fans like all of us? It ain't never going to end. Oh,